Hey guys, so today is Tuesday the 22nd of August. Tomorrow we are going to York, uh, me and my husband. I have been to York before and I really enjoyed it. I thought I would start this vlog today because we have a very, very early start tomorrow for York. We are going on a coach trip. It's actually my birthday tomorrow, so in part it's a birthday trip. It's also like a mini honeymoon trip. Instead of a big honeymoon, we're taking little day trips and things around the UK, uh, at least for this year anyway, so it's kind of that as well. And it's just to go, really, because I do like York. So, we're uh, again going on a coach trip, like I said. We're getting to York at around half 10, 11 o'clock. We have to be in my local town at quarter past eight to catch the coach. And then we leave York around four o'clock, according to the woman I rang today. So a few good few hours in York, but it is only a day trip. I thought I'd vlog it for you guys. We've got no set plans. A couple of things we've thought about is there is a Harry Potter themed golf place there called the Hole in Wand, I think it's called, instead a hole in one, the hole in one, possibly Jorvik, um, but I am recovering from an operation. I'm not really going to talk about it here too much, so I don't know if golf might be too much for me at the moment. So we might just stay on the shambles, have a walk around York, and do a bit of shopping. I hope you enjoy seeing our trip to York. Hey guys, I hope you can see me. So we're in York, got me a birthday badge on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where we're going yet. We're gonna just figure it out. We've just got off the coach. So we're just walking up to probably the shambles, I think. Um, we've got some ideas. I think I've spoke to you about what we want to do, but we're not entirely sure yet. So I will check in with you when we decide. from York now. I hope the footage was okay. It was so, so busy and I was so tired, to be honest. We did a lot of walking. We visited a few video game stores, which will be in a separate vlog on my video gaming channel. And I had a really, really good time. We were going to do the Harry Potter themed golf and possibly Jorvik. Um, unfortunately, uh, I wasn't feeling the best, so we didn't do those. Um, but we still had an amazing time. So I'm now going to show you everything that I bought in York. 
So we'll start with the only book I bought, and I bought this in a charity shop for three ninety nine, and it is Breaking Dawn, the last book in the Twilight series. I do, of course, own all of the Twilight books, but I've this one passed me by for some reason. It's a special edition with an exclusive Breaking Dawn concert series DVD and a full colour poster of Bella and Edward. It says, and more. I'm not sure what and more is, but I'm going to try and do this one-handed. If I flip to the back, you'll see the DVD and the poster there. I also got my customary postcard. This was a grand total of 30 pence. We just picked this one. Um, yeah, I get a postcard everywhere I go, as you guys know, so that's the postcard I picked. Something I can't show you because I've ate them. I bought two cookies, a, a brownie cookie and a cinnamon cookie, and they were gorgeous. So then we'll move on to the video games and I'm not going to talk about these too much because I do have another vlog dedicated to these so I'm going to go through them really quickly and if you'd like to know more information and you'd like to see more video game stuff like I say that is on my other channel shameless plug there I know but we have the Japanese edition of Ark the Lad on the PlayStation technically the only edition because I don't think they ever released this as in, in, in Europe. Then again, we have another Japanese game, the Ark the Lad 2. This is uh, like a special edition with stickers. Uh, again, Japanese version. And again, I don't think they ever released this in Europe. So the Japanese version is the only way you can have the game on PlayStation, I believe. Also, uh, we went into CEX. I got Tales of Monkey Island. This cost £5 for the PC. I got Tomb Raider Chronicles for the PC for the grand total of 50p, just for the Tomb Raider collection. I had a £3 CEX voucher, so I thought I'd use it. I got Tomb Raider The Last Revelation for PC, again for the grand total of 50 pence. And finally, I already have this on Xbox, but I got the Shivering Isles uh, expansion pack for Oblivion for 50p again, again for PC. I already have it, it's just part of the collection. So I had a £3 CEX voucher. This lot was £6.50, I think, so I got it for £3.50. So that's everything that I actually bought in York. So I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, like I say, I don't know how good it is. <laughs> um, I was just very, very tired and still recovering, like I say and it's a lot of walking around York, a lot of walking, but I did have an amazing time. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.